Members of a Wisconsin union are frustrated over the development of a redistricting bill. Right now they are holding a rally at the state capitol and that's where we find our Grace Olch. She's got you covered on those protests. Grace. Yeah, Amber, Brandon, as you can hear behind me, there's cowbells, whistles, chants, speeches. These union members and these voters are really fired up. So here in this Capitol's Rotunda, I'm going to take a step away so you can see the crowd that showed up today. We have SEIU, which stands for the Service Employees International Union, joined by Voices de la Frontera Action, and they have gathered in the state capitol. Now they all just marched in from their buses to oppose a redistricting bill that would mimic Iowa's current um, redistricting standards. So right now, Wisconsin's legislators are in charge of redistricting. Republicans have proposed a new system in which a, a non-biased, um, non-partisan party would draw maps. They get two chances. And if those maps are both voted down in the legislature, it would then move to back into legislature's hands. So it would move back into the same system that we have set up right now. Now, SEIU, service workers, and Voices de la Frontera, they don't want to see this happen. They want a strictly um, nonpartisan party like the state's Supreme Court to handle this, the redistricting and the drawing of our maps. And so union workers have told me, as you see, they're moving right now. They are marching to Robin Voss's office as we speak. Their goal, union members tell me, is to hopefully get a meeting with him, see if he has anything to share, if he's willing to continue this conversation about redrawing these district maps. Um, but tonight at 5, I'm going to have you covered on what union members and voters are telling us right in the Capitol Rotunda. But for now, live in the state's capital, Grace Alch, 27 News.